tip my hat to UCLA winning it. They did a heck of a job. Um, I tip the hat to our players and our coaches. What a game, what a battle. Um, I'd like to uh, have some boring games and win them instead of some of the exciting games and keep losing them. Uh, but those kids are fighting hard. They're getting better and better. And uh, the process is still going on. And, uh, you know, it's just the hardest thing is going, knowing when it ended, all I could think about was what I'm going to tell those young men when I get back in that locker room and I see those big crocodile tears and the effort and the hard work and the blood and the sweat. Um, and, uh, you know, things in life, sometimes life is not fair. It's a, that's a game. There's no doubt about it. But it does teach. I do believe football teaches character and reveals character. And I think our team has great character. And um, they'll keep battling, battling and battling, and we'll, we'll bounce back and, and uh, start getting these. So uh, uh, also I'd like to make sure, if you're a praying person, please pay for Tedrick. Um, and they took him off. He was moving, um, but he was really scared. They, so hopefully everything's going to be all right um, with him. And uh, um, so Marquise Mosley got hurt too, so we had a few injuries. Um, but it was a heck of a game, and I'm really proud of those guys. Uh, again, I tip my hat to UCLA winning it. Um, but uh, we'll just keep keep battling and keep going. Take any questions at this time. Coach, something that's obviously going to get a lot of attention in the discussion of this game is what happened at the end of the first half where you missed an opportunity. To score yeah, we the guy went out of bounds. The referee went like this. So we all turned and thought the clock would stop. And he was marking a first down and going, and then he started yelling, but he was so far down there. And then when I saw him, I tried, I tried to tell Sefo to um, spike it. He got confused and we ran clocked out. So, so it's my fault on that. Um, and that's exactly what happened to a T. So it was kind of, we saw that. Everybody said he's out of bounds. We saw the guy stop. But they, he marked the first down, but he did it above his head. But then he went and round it. So I get that's, so that was, uh, we got to keep watching him and understand what's going on. Um, and, uh, and then if we could have spiked it there, we could have got the, 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 the field goal off. But um, miscommunication there, so I take complete fault for that. Mike, uh, how much time was left in the half when you noticed the clock was still running? Uh, 17, seconds. 17 seconds. And I was trying to get it to him, and it just got messed up. Because it was stopped at 23. Mike, can you describe the performance from your running backs today? I think you got 233 yards on the ground today. Yeah, they ran really well. We, the offensive line did a great job. Um, we felt like we could run the ball on them when we coming in, and uh, uh, we just kept getting after it. And the offensive line did a good job staying on. The running back stayed fresh and started breaking tackles and, and making plays. It was uh, fun to watch. Coach, your defense obviously played really well in the fourth quarter. And then in the second possession for UCLA and in overtime, you couldn't get a hand on Brett Huntley. What happened? Um, the first one, we played, the, we played the draw correctly. We ran a stunt, and he made a guy miss. Um, the next one, we had a stunt on, and a uh, young man didn't step outside for the quarterback. So we had the stunt for that play, exactly what they ran. And we just didn't execute it. So. Those last three games, 17 points for the quarter, 28, 17 again by the opponent. Uh-huh. There's something that, that you're not we got to play better. First half, we on the long run we we lined wrong. We didn't line wrong one time all week, not one time, not one time, and lined up to that set at least 50 times. That exact set, we just got to get the nervous over us and line up and play right. Will Oliver with three clutch field goals uh, mm -hmm. after what happened at Cal was that good to see from him? Mm -hmm. Very good to see from Will, and we know he can make them, and he will. He just had that one bad day. Um, he, he's a heck of a kicker. He did some good things. Coach, how draining are these kind of games? Pretty draining. <laughs> uh, they are. Um, but that's what I'm saying, the resilience of our guys and our coaching staff. Um, we just keep bouncing back. And as you're rebuilding a program, you have these things happen. Um, this happened to us a lot at San Jose State the first couple of years, and then we started winning them all. And so we'll get there. But we will definitely get there. We're not where we used to be. We're not where we want to be. But we're definitely on the way. There's no doubt about that. Obviously, last week the train seemed to get off the tracks a little bit. You didn't get the win this week, but is it a little bit encouraging to see the train kind of get back on the tracks? Yeah, I, I knew they'd come back and play. We just spotted them 28 points, and then we played them toe-to-toe -to -toe after that. Um, and uh, so uh, we've got can't do that. And uh, Almost did that today. We just kept battling and kept fighting.
And uh, I, I tell you, I thought a change in our team, which we haven't done, in the fourth quarter when we had the momentum and we were going to go, and then we threw the pick, and they ran it back, and we stopped them, and then we go down. To me, I saw a change, a change in our football team in a, in a Pac-12 game against a t top 25 team. That hadn't been done, and uh, I was really proud of that. Of course, we're definitely hurt from the ending, and we definitely are dying inside, and we want it, and it hurts like crazy, and it hurt all night, and it hurt all day <laughs> for a while. Um, but to me, that was a kind of a microcosm of how far we've come. So I'm going to have a happy one in here before long, I promise you. We'll have a happy one. Thank you.